So when a market experiences prolonged price declines due to a weaker slowing economy, you start to see a bear market. Today, financial advisor Mark Lampkin joins us here live with uh, what we should be doing if we are in that bear market. So what is, <laughs> like, as, like I'm in school, what, what is a bear market? What is this? Well, first of all. Because you hear like financial like advisors on TV like yourself talk about it. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, But I'm like, really, do I know? No. Well, first of all, I took a selfie with Bobby. And I'm starting Bobby is Beautiful on Mark Lankford's uh, Facebook yeah. page. Yep. So how ridiculous is yeah, that? I know. But I anyway, know. so bear markets um, defined as a 20% market drop from the peak. And oh. usually about once every five years, mm -hmm. we have a bear market. So this is not something to be afraid of, but the underlying cause and emotional behavior causes most investors to underperform the market because they do silly things when they get yeah. emotional. And the best analogy is, would you rather pay $2 for gas or $5 yeah. for gas, right? Two. Exactly. Absolutely. So, so when it, this happens, like what are you always, I love how you isolate things down to the top three or the top five yeah. things. What are the top things we should do when this happens? Number one, take a breath. Oh, Don't, your yeah. worst decisions we've probably made emotional. in our lives. Emotional. Don't right? do it. Yeah. So just t take a breath. If you're under the age of 50, you're begging for this. Uh -huh. I've told both my kids increase their 401k contributions buy the IRA right now don't yep. wait because if you're under the age of 50 buy that two dollar gas yeah I hate when people say when this market recovers I'm going to put my money back in wow what? that's you, crazy you stick with it now yeah. what about stocks you know for people that are like nervous about I mean should you should you be looking for like really great deals or, you or what it it's very hard to be a stock picker yeah but and I recommend 20 percent or less of a portfolio even for the most aggressive investors to be in individual stocks mm. but look at names like Netflix Facebook Apple Google Claudia some of these are really mm. good companies that are down 70 Seven oh. The solid ones you don't expect to slide, off. right? Even like the pharmaceutical stuff, like yes. after, like during COVID. They've been hit up to fifty-five percent. Yeah. Now some of uh, like even like a Zoom, it's back down below pre-pandemic levels oh, wow. and it's still growing double digits. Huh. So there's some great buys out there and use this as an opportunity. All right. So uh, I still just like you said, keep investing. Yes. I mean that's no matter what, that's what you should be doing now. Absolutely. And number one investment, if you're afraid of the market and it, Number one investment, invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. Go get it. Go get that degree. I thought you were saying go get a spa treatment. <laughs> <laughs> go treat yourself. Like, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. You're, you're your best earning yeah. power. So go get their spa treatment before you go to yeah. class and learn that new skill. But you're the that best. Good, and yeah. last thing I'll tell you, um, don't go with a cash. Yeah. If you're in the 401k, yeah, there's a, usually what's called a stable value fund that uh -huh. usually pays two or three percent. Whereas if you go to that money market, you're going to earn nothing. Mm -hmm. And also, if your company matches six percent, even if you go into stable value, go put six percent in. Mm -hmm. My company matches dollar for dollar for our employees up That's to six percent. Yeah. It's free money. Yeah. So and a lot of, what's, do that. It's good. It, a lot of people are not, a lot of businesses are not doing that anymore. Right. And when I hear about that, I'm thinking, oh man, you're so lucky. Take full advantage of that, like right now. Absolutely. Right? And, and and more companies are starting because the labor market is so competitive mm -hmm. right now. Ask about that to 401k. To draw people yeah. into their businesses. Under the age of 50, make sure you ask Roth uh -huh. 401k. Okay. So most people, Go they'll stick that. in a traditional IRA, which means all that money is going to be taxed someday. Yeah. Roth, Roth. IRA. None of it will be taxed. All right, Mark. There you go. Thank you so much. So if you're interested in getting more information or scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, head on over to LampkinWealth.com or just give him a call. He'll be there answering the phones, right? You got it. I do it <laughs> you know all. it. You know it. He'll be here answering the phones if we let him. The number is 690-6764.